Hey, I'm Nat, and I'm the bee guy. So I'm about to get into my hive over here. I've got a little situation with some hive beetles. I have a small hive that has become more and more weak and they are overrun with hive beetles so I need to do something to fix it. So come along, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Alright, hope the ducks aren't too loud in the background, they get a little bit fussy when I'm over here by them. But uh, hey listen up, what I'm going to do here is, um, uh, so my hive is both overrun with hive beetles and it's queenless and uh, it's just becoming a mess so um, I what I need to do is I need to get some brood from here and uh, this is a pretty good strong hive I just had six boxes on it right now it's only got four but I have taken some of the honey off and it's got plenty of honey left um, so I need to take some of the brood off and um, as per um, Don the fat bee man if you've heard of him he says that you need to remove any honey out of the brood chamber, so I'm going to do that too. I'm going to remove any of the full frames of honey out of there so they can build up brood for the, um, for the, the winter time. It's July right now and they need to build up as many bees as they can. The bees that are in here right now, as he says, you know, by October, November, they're going to be all gone. So we need to have new bees coming through here. If they don't have any room for new bees, then they're going to be weak and you may lose your hive. So we don't want to do that. I've been through too much of that already. As a beekeeper, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, but I would rather be on the winning side. So, um, so I'm going to get into this hive, take out the, um, the honey supers and out of the brood chamber, and then also add in some frames there. I will also take out um, one or two frames of brood for my weak hive, and then I'll show you what I'll do in there. Um, you know, one thing about the beekeeping com community I really enjoy is the fact that um, you know, I don't know a whole lot. I've been doing this for about four, maybe five years. Um, I don't know everything there is to know about bees, that's for sure. But I know more than a new beekeeper might know, and I'm more than willing to share my uh, knowledge with them. And then there are those who are awesome, and you know, they are, seems like they know everything about it, but even they will tell you after 40, 50 years of keeping bees that you still learn some stuff. So it's a never um, changing. Um, ever-changing thing you never really know what the bees are thinking because we're not bees we don't know so uh, we're gonna get in here though and um, any of the information that I've uh, that I'm gonna share here um, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due and I'll make sure that um, that I do that like I said uh, Don Fat Bee Man and gave the tip about that a little video that he did back in 2012 and I just now saw it here in 2017 so that information just lives on and I, I love that um, YouTube is so awesome um, that it has this kind of content. Um, so stick with me and um, and we'll go through this journey together. I'm going to suit up. One of these days I'm going to get brave enough not to use this stuff. Today is not that day. So, um, oh, by the way, if you don't have all this kind of professional equipment, like, you know, hive tools, I have a hive tool. You know where it's at? In the back of my wife's vehicle, and she's gone. So, <laughs> doesn't do me any good. But, hey, one of these, not the best, but it sure, sure will help. I mean, a flathead screwdriver, what else do I have? Something to scrape the, the, the frames with. I mean, you know, scraper. Anything will work, you know. You got to do what you got to do. I've got to get into these bees, and I can't wait to get my hive tool uh, back by um, nighttime tonight. So, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, my smoker. We need that. We'll do a couple puffs here in front of the Too much. Oh, 
Hide beetles. When I find hide beetles, I kill them. This year has been bad for beetles. I need to get some traps in these hives. This one hasn't been doing so bad with hide, hide beetles. But it seems like they're getting to be more and more. So, see if I see any on top here. Now I know, I've been in here already. I know kind of what's going on in here. This one, um, this one is going to be all honey on top here. And so is the next one down. Nice and heavy. And they're putting all kinds of honey in here. I don't want honey in my brood chamber. I want brood in my brood chamber. This one on the outside edge, pretty much totally full. You know, so I'm gonna take this one out, this full one out, and I'm gonna take the one that was next to it, and I'll set it back in here. So, we'll get these girls off of here. Like that. And there's a lot of comb down in here. Burr comb, we'll get rid of that. We'll put that one on the outside, and they'll start filling that one up. And this is all eggs, brand new eggs. Okay. Whew, man, it's hot. <laughs> um, okay, so I've gotten the uh, frames out. Uh, I decided to take two brood um, out, and I've got some honey and some pollen. Those baby bees are going to need some food. And uh, so I've got those in my little mini nuke. Uh, yeah, so it's ready to go. So I got some advice from um, Barnyard Bees, and I'll make sure, sure to put the link here in our video um, but uh, barnyard bees and I think it's David don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure it's David at barnyard bees uh, I love his videos you need to go and check out his channel at some point in time uh, because he's got a lot of great information so I called him up I need some queen a queen anyways so I called him and, and to see if he had any and also to see um, what in the world I need to do if he had any suggestions and one thing I hadn't thought of is um, since I have larvae throughout my hive uh, the little one over there um, they're doomed I mean if I leave them in there the wax or the um, hive beetles will take over they'll abscond and then they'll end up dying because they don't have a queen and I don't want to lose the bees so I was kind of wondering you know do I combine them with my big hive without the combs of course because we don't want to contaminate that one um, with a larger hive not a big hive but uh, do I combine them with a healthy one or do I try to shake them off into the new nuke box that I made? Um, I was a little concerned about that because when you're shaking them off, you're going to shake the beetles. So I didn't want to do that either. 
So what he suggested was put the nuke box, and this is probably like, I mean, some of you beekeepers are like, this is like elementary, man. Uh, you take the nuke box and put it where that one is, and you take that box and you move it way away from it, shake the bees out. Um, there are probably not any nurse bees in there because it's been queenless for a little bit. Um, so we don't have to worry about them. So you shake the bees out, take the combs. I'm going to take them and put them in the freezer for three or four days. Um, and that'll kill everything that's in it. And uh, then you take, um, yeah, once you shake them out, then you know, of course they're going to fly back to where their GPS tells them to go. So they're just going to go back into there and into the little box. And hopefully we'll have a healthy new hive going. I'm ready to have some nice calm bees. All my bees are just like, you come in here, we're going to get you. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. You know, I, I talk to them, I sing to them, and it just doesn't make a difference. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't sing to them. Okay, so it's interesting. These little guys, they hide. The bees don't know what I'm doing, but the hive beetles sure know what they're doing. So I guess I did have a queen in there. And these are all mostly nurse bees. I didn't think I'd have any nurse bees in here. Some of these are workers. And some are nurse bees. Most of the workers have already flown off though. Okay, I'm gonna go take them back over there. It's like a dinner plate of bees. Might I serve you some bees, madam? So as you can see, many of them are already starting to come back. And the rest of these girls did march on in. Now what I should do is take a look on the bottom of here, make sure I don't have any hive beetles. Now, most of the beetles out of here, they're going to be gone. Now, if I get one or two in there, it's going to be okay because this many bees... Oh, 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 no you don't. None shall pass. So if I get one or two beetles in here, it's not good, but... Uh, the majority of them are going to be gone and this many bees are going to be able to take care of these four frames. There's only four frames in here right now. Now, they should be pretty calm by now. So, I feel relatively safe. <laughs> it's late in the evening and so they're ready to go home anyways. It's bedtime for them. This time of year, one thing I was wondering about is whether they would, uh, whether if I put this out here, would they have robber bees coming in here by the time I got these guys done? But obviously, everything's okay. I mean, they're going in like they should be. 
the big fat drone. Well, you can tell when they come by, it sounds like a big supersonic airplane. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Anyway, I really enjoy this. Uh, it's frustrating when you don't know what to do. But like I was saying before, it is really nice to have other beekeepers like um, Dave from Barnyard Bees and, uh, and Don the Fat Bee Man. I mean, the, that's a wealth of knowledge right there. Um, McCourtney, McCartney Taylor is another one out of, out of the blue sky. You know, these are really great beekeepers. Um, another one, eee, I don't remember what it is. I'll make sure to put it, a link in there, but they do a lot of good stuff up in Canada. <clears throat> and I tried to follow a little bit of what they did um, as far as putting my beehives down low, but I'm finding that that's a problem here in the south. Um, you really, I think you really need to have them up off the ground. We got fire ants, we got um, other type of ants that are going to give trouble. The hive beetles are going to be closer to the ground. We have a longer growing season for these pests. And so while it may work well for them in their climate, it does not work well everywhere. And that's one thing I'm learning too, is that you can't do the same type of beekeeping everywhere. Um, you know, bees are going to act differently. It's just different. So I'm going to get my girls up off the ground here. And um, that way my little chickens, you can hear them over there. I don't know if you can see them. Let me show you. They'll be able to come and, and scrape underneath here. That's another thing, barnyard bees. They had a video on how to get rid of hive beetles and stuff like that. These right here, those are your number one pest eaters. Oh, aren't they cute? You're a good mama. I'm going to head out. I'm just going to watch the rest of these girls go back in there for a little while. But uh, I'm going to end this video. It's probably way too long anyways. Uh, but one thing I want to um, really stress is if you know something about a subject, whether it's bees or gardening, you know, share your knowledge with somebody else. You know, uh, that really, I think it grows relationship, number one. And number two, it sure does help somebody else. I mean, I was kind of at a loss as to what to do with these things. But man, I feel confident, you know, I feel very good about what's going on here. And it's all because of 10 minutes on the phone with somebody, you know, or, or texting somebody or, you know, whatever the case may be, a video on YouTube. Um, boy, I tell you one thing, it, it really is a good feeling to, uh, to know that there are other people that are concerned about the bees and about, um, about spreading knowledge in a responsible way. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off here, guys. This is Nat, the project guy, the bee guy, the whatever guy. You want to come up with whatever project I'm doing at the time. Uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.